first go to select the unit type of units and click OK. There, then we have to define the filter by creating by the, by the workspace in the file menu. Go to file and create define workspace. One window will pop up. Then select the plant. What are the plant is loaded by the administrator? Select the plant and select the filter. What we have created earlier. Yesterday we created one area ETP. We have to so in the downside we are seeing that include nested objects. We have to check it and then we directly you can go to the plan by clicking on OK and again OK. Now we are going to piping session. In the task menu, we are go, in the task we can select, we have to select the piping. In the piping, first of all we have to discuss that hierarchy. In the WS items, nothing but W, nothing but our breakdown structure. In the ATP yesterday we created some uh, piping and everything here. We will create another unit. Whenever we are selecting or editing these WPS items, it is uh, preferably to put all in the uh, these selection selection menu. Or if I, it is better to put all and select it. Whatever it is there here, in, uh, that is nothing but plant or ETP or the unit one. In that one we have another two components, nothing but as it's equipment and piping. For this one we have, but if you want to select these all these types, we have to select by all only. If you want to select this one pipeline, we can select by all also. See if you select this one, everyone is select, everything is selecting. Right? Then for this one we need to know that what is this and what is this one and what is run and what is pipeline and what is the features, what is the parts, components, instruments, we have to know what, what is what. If you, if you know, know that one we can go and if you need more, if you need only runs, then we can only select, this is the runs, we can directly select it and we will go. I will tell you now what is what each and everything. I will now delete this one. This pipe seven. Yeah, one more. First of all, we have to create. If you want to draw a pipeline, first of all, we have to create one pipeline. For creating a pipeline, we have to select the uh, select this one. By all only, we can create the pipeline. By uh, by this filter, all we can select this one. Piping, right click on piping and select the new pipeline. Okay, then click on the name, whatever it is, whatever the name which is defined by the pipe. I am writing here main filter. Reminding is not necessary, fluid requirement. We have to define this fluid requirement. What is given by the client. This is very, very important. We have to define the fluid requirement, whatever it is there, uh, is it gas, solid or anything, vents, so many types are there, whatever, maybe everything will be defined here. If anything is not there, then we can give the what type, what type of requirement we need by, then we can define it by the administrator. We have to give the details of the process what we need, then they will define the fluid requirements. Whenever we are selecting this process, generally we are using process only. Okay, in that process we have so many, some different types of four types are there, fluid types. You can select anything, whatever there is, uh, it is not necessary. And but we in plant we have to select the fluid requirement as for the client client uh, requirement. Even if it is not, if you are not selecting this one also, it, it will accept. But Whenever we are creating this uh, and extracting this isometrics, we need to update all these things. Okay, then click on OK. 
the line number will line number will appear here. Again, I'm telling the telling you how to create a pipeline. Just select the piping option. Right click here, new system, new pipeline. So I wrote on the pipeline name main header. Previously I given main header. Now I'm giving main header to and we have to define the fluid requirement and fluid type. Click on OK. It will take that one as main header, main header and main header. We can uh, change the names by here, here in the menu also by main header one or whatever it may be. Okay. See here one system is there. Here now it is there in whatever it may be. Presently it is in ETP. Okay. Okay, we will create one more thing here. This is the ETP area. We will create another area. SPP. Okay. We have to follow the hierarchy very strictly. First of all, plan, area and unit. In that one, plan area, we have to select the unit. In that one, we have another unit. In that unit, we have to define the uh, piping, whatever it may be, piping structure and whatever it may be. Just now I am creating only piping system. That we will define other things also. Piping system, okay. In that one we have a piping system. Here in the top unit one we having the piping and equipment also. We have to get this one here. In the piping system we have created a, well, we have to create one pipeline. We have to be the fluid requirements and fluid type. If you want to change this one in main header 1 to main header, I mean in unit 2, here one system is there. We can change the hierarchy also. In generally, we are using cut and paste and everything in the graphic user interface. That is nothing but in the screen, main screen. But if you want to change the hierarchy, we have to select the whatever we need. We have to select that one and click on system. The system in system. We have one drop box will come. We have to select through more only, not select all these things. Because here it is very simple. Why? Because it is displaying only two units here. But in plant or original areas, original companies, it is not possible to define. It's so why? Because so many components are there. It will be confusing. And if you want to be placed wrongly. It will uh, affect so it affect so much. So click on more. It will uh, it will come total plan details here. Uh, here we can select the STP and we have to explore this one first of all. Then click on piping system. Okay, whatever in which in which under it will come. We have we need this in pi under piping system in unit two. Then click on OK. It will come to C. <coughs> the main header one will come to the STP. We can change like this one. I will do it again. I am doing that undo undo button. I am trying you again. Click on main header. Click on more. Explore the whatever we need. Explore this one. Click on piping system. And click on OK. Main header one will come like this. Okay. 